2023 is round the corner, Frisky. What kind of president should we be looking at now? Um, I'd like you to tell our listeners. The president we need right now. Do, is there an age barrier that you have in mind? I don't have any age barrier in mind. But so you don't mind if We should not have a 90-year-old president at least now that will, you know, whose days may be numbered and we will end up, you know, making medical, so medical tourism to Britain it, and it, to it, America it, again. Is your own ceiling 90? My, no, 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 no. My ceiling is not 90. I just give the exaggerated uh, projection, you know, that... that so what, you know, what's your ceiling? Look, I think we have a lot of competent people within the range of 50, 60. So yeah. anything above that will probably be moving in the direction of medical tourism again, you know. But okay. the president we need right now mm. is the president that should take on the Igbo agitation head on. Meet the stakeholders, get them back into mainstream Nigeria, Nigeria. and make us understand where the problem is and address their problem, you know. Forget the mistakes Nandu Kano has made and all the nonsense they've done in, you know, in the agitation. The problem has to be addressed. Mm hmm Okay, uh, all right, but but I mean, I, I'd like I'd like to to have a job description. I'd like to have parameters we need to go by. We first of all we talked about age. I believe very strongly that Nigeria is a new beginning. I don't want any of the old forty dodies hanging around again. I think we've just about had enough of them. Okay, I think so. Out there, I I, I the maximum age for me will be sixty sixty five. Okay, do you agree with that? No, I don't agree with the age limit in that sense. You know, Dimeji Bankole was a very young man. You know, mm -hmm. we had a lot of youngsters. No, I mean, the upper limit. I'm not talking about lower limits. But look, forget the, I'm, That's what I'm telling you now. We've had very young politicians who mm -hmm. mess up the opportunities again. You understand? Okay. So, 65, okay, it's a reasonable limit. But I don't think we should be setting limits. Let's, say, look, let's set the limit on what we don't want. And live open what we want. Yeah, that's what we're saying. We don't you want know? anybody above 65. 65 is a bit too too low. Too low. I mean, 70 is still okay. 70 is still, 70 okay. Is still okay. You know, because but, I, remember though that in Nigeria the issue of age is a is a miracle here that we have. For you example, know, yeah, yeah. Have a many people like yeah, 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 I know what child you mean. He's 59. I mean, so we have we have a bit. You know, <laughs> a bit of that. But but I I I I think that uh, I I think that. You know, Angela Jotumobi was here uh, some time ago, and we really had fun trying to put all this uh, into perspective. What bothers me is that a lot of these old politicians are coming back again. I know what you mean. I, I, and I think they have nothing to offer but for themselves and their fellow politicians. And one of the things I tell my people is this. If you have a politician having an interest in a candidate, his interest is different from yours. A politician is going to look out for somebody who will open up opportunities for him as an individual. Somebody who can carry, to put it in political lingo, who can carry other people along. But I believe that we need a fresh perspective. Absolutely. Yes, we, we do need a fresh perspective. We, we, we don't need it, but we have no guarantee that we'll have it. Because very, many of, the, very many of the youngsters, very many of our youngsters in the yes. present generation are much yes. more corrupted than the elders. You understand? And, and they make, make life very difficult. You know, corruption and corrupted, you know, uh, perceptions have become the way of life in this country that it's always very, very difficult to separate the wheat from the chaff these days. Hmm. You know? So, but, of course, we might be lucky enough. It's all, it's all risky. The path is a, it's a very thorny one.